I tested positive for COVID um, on Tuesday the 15th of September. <laughs> just my experience with COVID and um, what my doctor said and what I've been doing while I've been at home in isolation. <laughs> so I contracted COVID. Um, I don't know where I got it from or who, um, but I contracted um, and then I tasted positive. Um, so I had the nose swab, so they stick this um, about this long, um, like cotton ball thing up your nose and then they push it so far that it reaches like past your nasal cavity. They, it's apparently a six inch long swab and it's, the Americans call it a Q-tip, it's a earbud, like just a hella long one. Um, and the cavity between the nose and the mouth for 15 seconds and then they rotate so it burns a bit when they rotate it um, just in your nose um, and then yeah and then sent for testing at the lab it took me I got tested at 9am in the morning and I got my results at 3pm in the afternoon um, I just went to my local doctor um, yeah we just phoned them and asked what should we do because we think I have COVID I tested positive for COVID on the Tuesday um, and I've been in my isolation period for 10 days and it's my last day today which I'm very excited about um, um, so what I've been doing to keep myself busy at home is I've, so I've read four books I've read the series of to all the boys I've met before I've read all three books <laughs> Um, so I've been reading a lot and as well as sleeping of course um, watching a lot of Netflix and YouTube and then I found my old buckyballs that I used to have <laughs> that I used to play with so those have been fun and then um, of course I've been doing varsity online um, so luckily I haven't had to go to class or anything and then um, we started a new two new fish tanks which I'll show you in the next video probably um, and then my doctor told me to drink three liters of water a day minimum so i've been drinking a lot of water and then um yeah to have i had i had to take zinplex um which i already take luckily um and vitamin c and just a lot more vitamins well i already take them but just making sure i take them every day and then um We've been putting a lot more plants in our house, which is lovely, um, and we started growing some more seeds, and I've just been chilling with the dogs and playing a lot more PlayStation and Fortnite, um, but yeah, I guess that's what you can do when you're at home. So these are the new seeds we have. We get them from Checkers, and um, they give you these little seed packets, and then you put them in the little pods, and you grow little seeds, and then, yeah, the... I got this for my birthday, um, and then that's a moss tank, and then yeah, two more plants. Um, and then I also <laughs> rearranged my room, which was fun. So my desk is here now next to the window. Um, but yeah, that's what I've been doing while I've been at home. But yeah, so the process we went through was um, I lost my taste of smell and smell and taste on the Monday, and then we phoned the doctor on the Tuesday, and I went for a test in the morning. Um, and then I tested positive in the afternoon and then my isolation period. Um, so I haven't left the house in 10 days <laughs> um, or seen anyone. All of my family are healthy and happy and um, everyone who I came into contact with we notified and no one has tested positive since so we think I was not infectious then. Um, but. Yeah, my experience, I I still can't taste or smell anything, um, literally nothing, <laughs> um, and all my food just tastes the same, but I'm healthy now, and I only had three bad days, um, 
really I had bad fevers and I was just extremely tired so I slept for like 11 and a half hours every night um, and I just ate a lot of healthy food and um, it was very healthy and yeah stayed away from everyone my family were in contact with me already because we've been at home so they isolated as well with me um, and no one has contracted any symptoms or anything they weren't tested but we think they most probably had it but they were fine and so in South Africa we have 87,000 cases um, and recovered for 593,000 so worldwide we have 31.5 million cases um, and so and 21.6 million recovered and then sadly 967,000 deaths well at this date so today's the 23rd of September um, and South Africa is not in the top five anymore which is great I'm still very glad that I only got a mild case um, and that I'm healthy now and I didn't get as sick as everyone else and um, I'm very grateful that no one contracted from me luckily um, wow I said I'm a lot <laughs> uh, but yeah I'm very grateful and it's very sad to see how something that can affect me so lightly can hurt people and kill people um, and so many people have died from it so please continue to wash your hands wear your masks um, and um, you know stay at home and healthy if you can um, but I understand now more and more people are going back to work and to school um, but yeah just remain vigilant and <laughs> watch your symptoms um, I could have easily infected more than 50 people that I was in contact with um, as I've been going to gym and I've seen friends and um, family so I'm very grateful that I haven't um, but we still don't know where I got it so just be careful thank you for watching I hope you have a lovely day bye